Uh, whatever you're doing in Blender, you usually have some settings that stay the same in all of your projects. And instead of changing all of that stuff every time you make a new file, you can save what is called a startup file. And it will load every time you start Blender. You can have anything you want in it. You can remove the default cube, camera, and light. You can save any viewport shading options. For example, I like having shadows and cavity enabled. It makes shapes more readable. I also have snapping set to vertex. By default, it's increment. You can set up any output settings. For me, since I'm focusing on Instagram posts, uh, I render square videos at 60 FPS and my timeline is 600 frames. For you, it can be whatever makes sense to you. You can also change workspaces. I personally don't like having tons of tabs on top, so I left only four. I'm using just one workspace for both uh, shading and UVs. In Compositor, as you can see, I already have nodes set up. It's convenient not having to repeat all of these things for every single project manually. I also recommend saving your files somewhere where you'd never lose it. For example, a cloud storage. And then when you update to a new version of Blender, for example, when Blender 3 comes out, all you'll have to do is to just open your file in freshly installed Blender and click Save Startup File, and that's it.